Hi, <clears throat> and welcome to my first vlog. Um, my name is Samir Sharma, um, and today I'm going to be speaking about um, data strategy. And you'll see that the caption in the article is called um, Hadoop is not a data strategy. Now, the reason I say that is uh, over the last few months, I've been um, speaking at a number of conferences um, uh, uh, just about data strategy, data monetization, the Internet of Things uh, and, and various future uh, um, data products. Um, one of the things that keeps coming up with a lot of the people that I speak to is um, we've invested in a lot of technology, but it's giving us little value. Um, and that's where uh, the issue lies. Um, so that's why I've termed this as Hadoop is not a data strategy. Um, I'm, not get, I'm not saying that Hadoop isn't a good platform. Yes, it's a good platform, but it, it used in the right way for the right use case then I think that's um, obviously going to be um, uh, beneficial to any business. So with that said, um, what is a data strategy? Um, and essentially, um, why would you do a data strategy? Well, the first thing is that you want to try and understand what the business wants to do. What is their overall business strategy that they're trying to achieve? And how can data uh, support that and make sure that they achieve uh, parts of that business strategy. Um, obviously, uh, business strategy could be achieved with other um, resources within the business as well. But data is key um, and, and is, is one of the drivers of, of any business strategy. So take the business strategy and understand the, um, the, the, the business goals. Um, and while you're doing that, you'll start to understand and build a picture of the specific business questions that a business needs to answer. Um, and from that, what, where, where we uh, work with, with, with companies is to say, right, well, you've got your strategic objectives, you've then got your um, uh, business questions, but there's a, a link in between that's often missing. And that is um, strategic objectives, uh, business questions, but what's the decision you're going to make between the two? So um, therein lies one of the issues around, I've got this data, what do I do with it? So we map that from a strategic objective to its decision that's uh, supporting that strategic objective, what business questions are supporting those objectives, and where the data lies to support those business questions. So you start to see your, uh, a really clear lineage um, from the top down to the data. Now, what this does is sort of does a top down and bottom up approach, because essentially I am saying, um, you know, while I'm doing the business uh, understanding, uh, getting a, an understanding of the business and, and their requirements and needs. I'm also doing uh, a, an assessment of the, the data that's underneath and how that's going to uh, build um, upon those business requirements and um, uh, needs. Um, what that then does is it allows me to define um, what, the, what, what, what the requirements will be for now uh, in the next six months and uh, over the next two years. And that gives a very clear roadmap. So it basically, it, it does three things. It says, right, what data is available that's going to be um, uh, critical to my priorities? What data is coming down the line that's going to help me achieve those priorities in the next X months? And what data do I need to get uh, to enrich those things? Uh, maybe external data and so on. So you, you've got, uh, you know, it, it builds your value roadmap. Um, and it gives you the priorities that your business wants, um, wants to achieve. Um, so not only does it do that, it then says, well, I've got all these things that I want to do. I've got my priorities. I've got my roadmap. What's the technology that's going to support these particular use cases? And that's where the business stakeholders and the technology stakeholders can work together to understand what investments need to be made. So there, there you go. You've got... Um, the business needs and capabilities, determining that future roadmap um, or what we call the value roadmap because you prioritize it um, and aligning the business and the technology stakeholders uh, around the technology, technology investment. So it is a business first principle. You are not starting with a technology first principle. You're also doing a top down and a bottom up approach of saying how are we going to um, take our business requirements and not do that in a vacuum and how are we going to do some 
uh, uh, data discovery at the same time to understand how those things are going to come together. And therefore, it builds our priorities and we've got our data strategy. Um, it will help because one of the things that will happen um, and happens increasingly is that why, you know, the, the, the reason companies are um, facing the current challenges in data is because they didn't start with a data strategy and they started with a technology first principle. Um, okay, that's enough from me. Uh, I, hopefully that will be um, uh, of value to you. Um, I will be uh, doing these vlogs um, on a uh, uh, quite frequently. Um, and but the next thing I'll be posting out is around. Um, uh, I'll be I'll be starting to interview a number of uh, uh, key people in the industry, in the data industry, um, amongst many different um, verticals, um, and I'll be posting those online. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful day and uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Take care. Bye bye.